Hi there, welcome back to another Crypto Dave video. So in today's video, we're doing another crypto passive income experiment. This is for week 14. And if you want to look at any of the previous updates, they are all available in the playlist called the same thing. Uh, so you can uh, go back and look at any previous updates should you sh uh, so wish to do so. Um, just to recap very briefly, uh, we made a target at the beginning of the year, $130,000 in passive income from crypto. And then this secondary goal, the road to a million dollars in stablecoin. So this is a part of a million dollars of stable coins in which to earn uh, passive income, interest, etc, etc. Uh, so moving on and starting as always with our interest account, so nothing from BlockFi and Ledin which pay on a monthly basis, but $25 from Celsius, $43 from Hodlnaut, $47 from Nexo and $10 from Yield App. Now these figures are all down a little bit on last week's figures and there's two reasons for that. Uh, firstly, a lot of these platforms have reduced their rates slightly, so they reduced their rates at the beginning of this month. Uh, Hodlnaut didn't, but that is going to be introducing monthly rate changes. And I think their changes coming in the next, their first changes coming in the next week or so. And unfortunately, across the board, really, the rates have been dropping from these kind of like centralized finance interest account kind of uh, platforms. Uh, the other thing is that the price of uh, Bitcoin and therefore pretty much all cryptocurrencies has dropped significantly over the last week. I think we're currently trading just around 40 and a half thousand for Bitcoin. So that's down from uh, somewhere closer to sort of 47,000 I think it was last week's video so um, a big drop in the price of kind of Bitcoin um, and uh, obviously the price of other kind of cryptos and that does affect the results slightly for this last week uh, moving on to staking so we've got $14 from Cardano uh, $83 from Solana and $15 from Luna sorry I, this says zero I should update that I forgot to update this um, I think I've got um, just a hundred Luna or something like that that I've put into kind of staking just to uh, keep this kind of like ticking over um, so I'll update that for the next week's video but $15 of a Luna profit this last week as well and then moving on to the DeFi stuff so uh, starting with $97 from Polygon uh, moving on to $2,110 from Phantom so a really nice week from Phantom and that's largely down to T-shares so T-shares have been printing um, not necessarily every epoch but certainly a number of epochs over the last sort of four or five days um, so that's really helped our uh, profits from Phantom, so $2,110 from Phantom, $35 from Avalanche, this is all in Anchor Earn, and $243 in uh, Anchor Earn on the Terra um, network, so you can uh, have availability of Anchor protocol on both Avalanche and Terra. Uh, Luna at the moment and that's a grand total this um, a week of $2,722 grand total so far this year of $52,621 uh, moving on to the different DeFi pool so I have made a few changes here um, for the last couple of weeks I've been in a tomb my liquidity um, liquidity pool and I removed that about a week ago and went into uh, a mixture of T-shares and also a T-share and my liquidity pool as well um, and that's actually proved um, a pretty decent decision because the price of T-shares has increased substantially as the masonry has started uh, printing out and we've benefited from those masonry prints as well so that's nice. Uh, in addition to that I've got a tiny amount I think about $1,500 in based my on beefy finance that's an auto compounder and then my uh, phantom and boo liquidity pool on spooky um, in terms of other things no changes um, still anchor earn on avalanche still looking into other possibilities for the avalanche stuff uh, anchor earn for Terra Luna and uh, matic quick is my uh, pool the liquidity pool that I'm mining on polygon that's on the quick swap uh, decks uh, so moving on to the, our interest accounts $5,179 in our uh, interest accounts this is our uh, Block and lead and uh, Celsius stuff like that, and then ninety-one thousand eight hundred ninety-six in DeFi. So that's ninety-seven thousand and seventy-four dollars. Now that's actually down from last week, and the reason it's down is that um, some of the money that I have in Anchor Earn is uh, basically kind of like um, borrowing from. Um, uh, bonded Luna. So I have bonded my Luna and then I've borrowed UST against that, put that in Anchor Earn. Um, and with the drops in prices, I, um, although I'm not sort of like a, a crazy kind of loan to value or anything like that, I wanted to keep well away. So um, 
I'm around sort of 70 to 75. When it gets um, substantially over 75%, I bring it right back down to kind of 70 and stuff like that. So I've taken quite a chunk back out, repaid a chunk of that, just to make sure that, uh, you know, there's no kind of like nasty surprises. If there was suddenly like a massive wick down and Bitcoin to sort of 35,000 or something like that, um, that could push if you are at a higher loan to value. Um, altcoins could move more than that and that could push you into kind of liquidation events. So I want to stay well away from that. So I've been uh, moving some uh, back out and repaying um, that kind of Kind of leverage bring the leverage down and then as the price hopefully kind of goes up again over the next kind of couple of weeks i'll uh, pad out a little bit more push it back into uh, anchor earn but that's my kind of like strategy uh, there and then uh, moving on to the graphs you can see here um a nice update this week um now this is almost all due to this uh, t-share printing um so that's really nice that we're back over two and a half thousand uh, just over 2700 in fact but um nice to be uh, back over our 2500 which is our uh, weekly target which takes us to 130,000 uh, to the end of the year so we're back above target on a weekly basis if we move to our uh, cumulative kind of target here we've been well above um our target ever since those really big uh, printing weeks on two ohm and three ohm earlier in the year uh, but we've been kind of coming back down towards this kind of like line you know looking to maybe get back to kind of like parity somewhere in the middle of the year so a nice few weeks like this we're above it you know keeps us that same distance above the line uh, which makes up for any kind of like poor weeks that we may experience later in the year and then uh, moving on to our stable coin target we were over a hundred thousand uh, last week for the first time back under it um, as I mentioned because I've repaid some of the UST into uh, lowering our loan to value on uh, Terra Luna on Anchor uh, Protocol. So that's it for this week. Thanks very much for watching as always. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments below. Um, thanks for your kind of emails. A few people have emailed me. I've emailed them back. Um, do let me know if you have um, kind of questions. I do try and respond to all the kind of comments uh, that I get. I hope you're keeping safe and well. Give me a thumbs up. Um, that would be fantastic. Uh, but hopefully I'll see you on the next video. Until then, have a great day. Bye-bye.